surplus government cheese caves of the United States. From the 1980s through the early 2000s, an unusual phenomenon arose across America. This strange marvel was storing surplus government cheese in underground caves. This occurred due to cheese overproduction combined with federal agriculture policies, leading to large stockpiles of American processed cheese being stored for years in caves. The first major government cheese surplus came in the early 1980s under President Reagan. To control dairy prices, the government began purchasing dairy products when milk production exceeded demand. Much of this excess milk was processed into 500 million pounds of processed cheese slices and blocks. By 1983, 40% of all cheese sold in America was this government-owned processed cheese. But, there was nowhere to distribute it all. So cheese caves were contracted to store the massive stockpiles. Missouri and Arkansas became key storage sites due to their many natural limestone caverns. Up to 300 million pounds of cheese eventually aged for years inside huge caverns across the Ozarks region. One Missouri cave alone held 40 million pounds of government cheese at its peak. The cool 50-degree Fahrenheit caverns provided an ideal aging environment. But workers had to constantly flip and rotate the millions of cardboard boxes of cheese blocks to prevent millions of pounds of cheese from getting moldy. Wisconsin's cheese caves were also other major storage sites. With over 50 million pounds of surplus cheese tucked underground in the mid-1980s, both new man-made cheese warehouses and old natural caves built by early cheesemakers were used. The program became notorious at the time as an example of government waste and excess. Starting in the early 1980s, the Reagan administration began distributing the stored cheese to welfare recipients, food banks, and schools. Despite being fairly bland processed cheese, it provided important nutrition and calories to struggling families during the recession. Its distribution was generally seen as beneficial for the underprivileged. Even if it tasted bad, in the 1990s, additional agricultural policy changes led to new cheese surpluses. Over 300 million more pounds of cheese was purchased by 2000, under the Clinton administration, again requiring huge cave storage. The cheese surplus peaked in 1996 at over 600 million pounds, stored in caves across Missouri, Arkansas, and Wisconsin. So much government cheese remained warehoused in caves, the tons of cheese were still a problem through the early 2000s. The last stores were finally used up around 2014. In the end, America's iconic cheese caves stored billions of pounds of surplus cheese over decades. These cheese caves kept this important food, barely edible for future generations. The program showcased both excessive government spending, as well as eventually useful welfare aid. Some say the best grilled cheese sandwiches are made from this surplus government cheese. So, do you want a grilled cheese sandwich? What is your favorite recipe? Tell us your best cheese recipes in the comment section. If you love government cheese and weird history, please subscribe to our channel.